this I smell on his face Like when I'm with my friends with a cup raise Hey, on Monday, I got a gun raise Alright, let's just dig down The lower we get, the better Moon glow, didn't even see that I do wish I had a splinter potion on me Make things a lot easier and I know you can make them, and I know I need to start getting into the alchemy if I want to make things that much easier on myself. But I, I just don't want to get into it. I, it's just lazy. Uh, I don't know. Well, you know, you know. I can see I'm gonna have to start learning how to make these potions or at least taking my stuff to the guide to figure out what it does. I'm obviously only gonna use the ones that are like the Splunker potion and the Battle potion. Oh my god. Uh, the Battle potion because of the Tattered Cloth from the Goblin Scout, you can use a battle potion and stand near the edge of the map and just wait for him to come out. Okay, these are not these are not friendly. Just in case you, you didn't know. And they hurt. Very, very bad. Okay, not as much as before. They got extremely nerfed. Ouch, but okay, that one hurt. Ouch. Yeah, they used to do around 50 damage, and where did that one go? Okay, get away. Yeah, they used to do around 50 damage, but they're good to kill because they give you the vines, and you need that for the... Uh, they scare me whenever they get just a little bit close. But at least they put them in front of the blocks. In the last uh, patch, they were behind it. So if you would walk up to a block, sometimes you would get hit for 50-something uh, damage. And ah, this is getting annoying. They stretch out like two to three times as much as the normal length when you get within a certain amount and they just completely destroy you and actually would have died there if I didn't heal. Oh. And these hornets are a lot tougher now too. Just because of those stupid stingers. And again, up the makers of the game, I, I know they're not going to see this, but Come on, you gotta, you gotta realize that there's no way they should be able to shoot more than one stinger. It's pretty stupid. Oh, and, uh, I know you guys had no idea about this, and this isn't really what I want to be talking about, but uh, my parents are divorced. So I'm at my mom's house right now, and so I got a text message from my dad today saying that our uh, cat is uh, having bladder issues and looks kind of confused. This might not mean very much to you guys right now, but she's 16, so, you know, she's... Okay, lag. Uh, she's like at that age where she's like near the end of her life so I kinda worried for her uh, so but she's always been like a perfect cat like literally she's never done anything wrong she's never attacked the other cat we have in the house except in self-defense but can't really count that as attacking the cat. See, look at this mother slime glitching through the walls. So, 
And just letting you guys know what happened today for me. Can't see these baby slimes. But I'm sure she'll be fine for now. Uh, she's turning. S s uh, I can't even remember. She's turning 16 or 17 next month. And I think it's 17. Um, so, yeah, she's getting really old. But she's not really shown signs of aging until this. So my dad's taking her to the vet to see if there's anything wrong with her, if it's, she's just getting old. But, yeah, we'll see. I'm uh, not really worried. But, you know, she's she's older than me, so she's been, like, in the family longer. So that's, that's kind of weird to think about for me. And my cat be part of the family longer than I have been. I'm, I'm 15, just in case you guys aren't the best at math. Jeez. Back when, uh... Jungle armor was dropped by these guys. I had a farm in the jungle to uh, kill the hornets to make it easier to get the jungle armor. And these guys, since you can only have a certain amount of enemies on the screen at a time, these guys would spawn like near the spawner and. Oh, okay, I'm. I gotta be really, really careful here. So I have a few seconds left on my timer. And they're really close. I do want to find a shrine thing, obviously, because golden chest and stuff like that. These guys. Their reach is insanely long. Get away from me. And I, I think there's actually two in one right there, like from the same spot. No, it's just the one. But some that used to happen a lot, too. Uh, two of them would be right behind each other, and you'd get hit for 100 damage. and That was not not good at all. Yeah, and then they they move slowly, and then right at the last second they move really really fast and just completely screw you up. Jungle seeds and need or spores. What? Oh, okay, now yeah I know what those are for. Um, you need those for the jungle armor. Uh, I was watching a let's play from Nostalgia Gamer JS and Donagath and Donagath said you need spores to make the jungle armor now and I had no idea what those was I thought maybe he meant the you know I don't even remember what I thought he said like what I th thought he meant but now it's those things okay what don't I need uh, some one piece of dirt. Guarantee it, that guy's able to hit me. He's just trying to make me think I'm safe. Go over there and see if we can get some more spores. Okay. Yep, that's just the luck I was kind of expecting. Dig right into some water. way so we will go both ways
and I am so so glad that uh, mud doesn't fall from gravity that probably did more damage to me like when I was just playing for fun uh, excuse me than the the what are they called the hornets and stuff did don't get me wrong they did a ton of damage but mud is everywhere and that is a ton of silver okay yeah I don't know what I might need the silver for but you never know when you might want it for decoration and stuff like that can make some silver bricks, make a new room for the house. Something you never know. Oh, and today in school, uh, apparently the teachers are really worried about us cheating. Now, for some reason, they didn't care about cheating last year, I guess. But, uh, an officer from the Navy, uh, came in, he was a captain, and talked to us about, uh, ethics and morals and integrity, and, you know, that's fine, I'm fine with that, I didn't cheat on anything major last year, or this year. And so, you know, I was fine with that. And he gave us a piece of paper to take some... He said it was a, a quiz on. So, we're like, uh, alright. Well, since you technically can't give us a grade, we don't really care, whatever. So, uh, we're taking this quiz from him. And he's going through, he's just talking about stuff, reading slides, and then he'll randomly, like, stop. And he had this football that he was passing around. And he would hand the football to the next guy in the row. And uh, he said that that's what one of the guys that was in charge did when he was, like, I, I don't know if he's still in the Navy, like when today when he was talking to us or not, but he said that someone did that, they carried a football around and said they couldn't drop the football until they were dismissed or relieved is the word he used, but dismissed, pretty much the same thing. So he handed the football to the guy in the first row and had him say his name, where he's from, and read something like a definition, something like the definition of integrity or uh, ethics or something like that. And so it, it was a little bit weird, but I understand it, like where they're coming from, because obviously they don't want us cheating. I'm just getting readjusted in my chair. So after we, someone would read, he would have, he would ask us a question, and it was uh, on this anonymous test. And so we're about five questions through. It's all really just simple questions. And it's anonymous, so you can say whatever you want. I'm just going to go ahead and tell the truth, just since it's anonymous. And, you know, I can't get penalized for what I say on it. And doing what bad lag every once in a while.